Hello and welcome to this Sage 200C webinar on the new CentOXL function. This video will cover both standard and professional Sage 200 programs. Within Sage 200C we have introduced a new function which is the CentOXL function. This is a new function which allows you to send data from any report within the Sage program directly into Excel without having to manipulate the data within Excel or change the report. This has been requested many times by our customers. The first thing I will show you is the original way used to export files to Excel. So from within the program, within the customer list, I'm going to run a standard account details report. And then I'm going to use the export function. I will then choose the file type of Excel and leave the name as it is. I'll then show you the file in Excel. As you can see, the formatting of the document within Excel would cause you to have to manipulate the data very heavily to be able to reuse this within Excel. The information at the top causes cells to merge and throughout the document and you also get page breaks which means the information repeats at the top of each page as if it was an actual A4 document. I will now show you exactly the same report but using the send to Excel function. So using the same report, I'm going to click on send to Excel. I don't need to choose any options. It will then automatically send the data into Excel. And as you can see, it's in a much more user friendly format, allowing you to then further manipulate the data in Excel. The only information you get other than the data from the report is the title and the file name and the date that you actually exported the file on allowing you to track if it was the most recently exported document. I'll now show you a different report just to see how easy it is to send the information into Excel. So I'm going to supply a list in the reports and then I'm going to choose the age credit as detailed report. So as you can see it shows seven pages of information running down with all of the line breaks on a standard report. Without having to change anything, again I just click on send to Excel and that then presents the data in Excel in a very user friendly format again with all the transactions which would then allow you to manipulate this into pivot tables, charts or graphs to then display the information in any format that you want. You may also notice at the top of each column you have a filter option which allows you to easily filter the information you're getting from the program without having to choose criteria when you run the report. So if I wanted to choose certain suppliers, I would just tick the suppliers I want within the filter and it will filter those immediately for me. It is worth noting this function does not work from the spooler. So if I change my output to the spooler rather than the preview, and then send a report to the spooler. You will see you do not get the send to Excel function. That is due to the fact that you've sent it to the spooler so it's already stored the information that you want. This function also works with brand new or edited reports. So I've taken a sales ledger list of accounts report I've then added the account balance to the bottom of the report which is a brand new field as you can see and from within the report designer itself if I then preview that report I do get the send to Excel function so I'll click on that and the new field I added is the customer account balance and as you can see that's added it there. It is also worth noting you can change the titles of the information once it reaches Excel so rather than have the full name of the variable it's using, I can just change that to account balance by just over typing it and then that information is available. I could then save that document and open it up again and this information will appear in exactly the same format. The report will not automatically update itself from the data within Sage. If anything changes within the data in Sage, you would need to use the send to Excel function again to send the information back out to Excel. One final thing to note is that if you get more in Excel than you actually see on the report, this may be due to the way the report itself is designed. 
here I have a sales ledger summary report which I've designed myself which gives me one line per customer within the net, the VAT, the discount and other fields available. If I use the send to Excel function when it opens in Excel you will actually see you get more than one line per customer it actually gives you the transactional information for each customer so if we look across at our first customer you can see it appears lots of times based on however many transactions are in the date range that you've run the report for. The reason for this is on the report itself within a section that I don't actually have visible on the report which is the details section there are actually variables there with all of the transactional information with the send to Excel function it doesn't look at the way the report is designed within the report designer just the information that's available on the report so when you're using this type of report either a standard or a customized one you will need to use the standard export function rather than the new send to Excel thanks for listening if you have any feedback please email us at smbfeedback at sage.com or press F1 anywhere in your program.